The heart is the muscle that pumps blood. It's got a little sac around it, and that sac we call the pericardium. Now, between the heart and the pericardium, there's usually a little bit of fluid. Uh, that keeps bad things from attaching onto the heart, but that pericardium can become inflamed, usually by a viral infection, sometimes by a bacterial infection, and when there's inflammation of that sac, it causes chest pain, special kind of chest pain uh, with acute sudden pericarditis. It's a sharp pain. It's right in the middle of the chest. And when you lie down, the heart goes that way. It causes a, a distance, a rubbing on that pericardium. And it really hurts when you lie down. When you take a deep breath, it really hurts in the middle of the chest. And you know something's wrong. If that acute pericarditis goes on into chronic pericarditis, then that sac becomes thick. It becomes like a hard sac and fluid gets in there and that fluid has no way of escaping. And so when you get a chest x-ray, there's a round ball that's right there. Most of it's fluid. The heart can't pump well. And so people go into heart failure, the neck veins, really distend. The belly actually gets big with fluid in the belly because the blood can't get into the heart. The feet swell. People get short of breath. That's chronic pericarditis. Sometimes they have to go in and remove as much as a quart of fluid off the, that sac in between the pericardium and the heart. Uh, and they may have to go in and take out the pericardium with chronic pericarditis, acute pericarditis, uh, lots of medicines that we can do, but we have to make the diagnosis and the treatment is there. So pericarditis can be serious. Once the diagnosis is made, usually the doctors do a good enough job to where uh, we live happily ever after.